Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to reset your G29 steering wheel and pedal set. Ladies and gentlemen, your racing days are not over. You just need a quick reset, so follow the sky. So if you are experiencing any connection issues, calibration errors, or unresponsive pedals, resetting your G29 can actually quickly get you back to the virtual track. So let's jump straight into it. Quick, soft reset, the first step. So power cycle your console or your PC, and then reconnect the wheel. This will resolve most minor connection issues without losing any of your settings. Then you have the safe mode reset. This is for the PlayStation only. So if you turn off your PlayStation 4 or 5 completely, you connect the G29 wheel to the console, press and hold the power button until you hear two beeps, select rebuild database to refresh your system connections. That should do very well. And then you need to check all the physical connections. So ensure that your USB and the pedal cables are firmly plugged in and free from damage. Look for any bent pins or worn cable jacks. Trust me, it rarely does happen. And it's the last thing that you will check when you're experiencing issues. Some advanced reset and calibration options for the G29. First of all, um, you need to download the um, Logitech hub software. So you can download it from Logitech support site to validate wheel detection and recalibrate all the inputs precisely. Then registry reset. You need to navigate to this section over here and then carefully reset entries to fix persistent calibration issues. If your problem persists after software troubleshooting, you may need to consider hardware repair options for the motherboard or the pedal components. Here's a pro tip. Search how to reset G29 on YouTube for detailed video walkthroughs of all of these individual products. 